Grace Kelly, the iconic American actress who became Princess of Monaco, spent her childhood in a stately home located in the East Falls neighborhood of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Born on November 12, 1929, Grace Patricia Kelly was the third of four children in a wealthy and influential family. The six-bedroom mansion was built in 1928 by Kelly's father, John B. Kelly, a three-time Olympic gold medalist in rowing. It is located in the city's East Falls section, surrounded by mature trees and an impeccable lawn. A historical plaque outside the estate highlights its significance to passers-by. Regional travel guides offer walking and biking trails to admire the best views of the renowned house. The front door manifests the multicultural ties of its inhabitants with three flags, Monaco, the USA, and Ireland. The first two countries are understandable. Monaco was the country Grace moved to after marrying Prince Rainier III on 1956, the United States of America was her native country. Kelly's father was one of 10 children of Irish immigrants. The very fact that John B. Kelly built the house hints at his connection with architecture. So it was, Mr. Kelly was a prominent Philadelphian businessman and the founder of a brickwork contracting company, John B. Kelly, Inc. The house is a brick chocolate bar, after all, Ellen Sheehan, the co-president of the East Falls Historical Society, said Phil Aiello was the architect commissioned to design the home. Aiello's wife's maiden name was Major, just like Kelly's mother, Margaret, which means the two women were related. Thus, it was a true family home designed and built. For one particular family, taking into account their peculiarities and needs. Since Grace lived in this colonial-style house with her parents and siblings, sisters Peggy and Lysanne, and her brother John Jr., or Kel, the house had to be spacious. It featured six bedrooms, four of which occupied the second floor, and four bathrooms. The 4,000-square-foot home was located on a 69-acre territory and boasted a beautiful garden. In the basement was a den where Kelly's used to throw fascinating ex mas parties. There, the family had the interview after Prince Rainier and Grace announced their engagement announcement and Grace showed her engagement ring to her parents. The film crew accompanied Prince Rainier to commemorate the great day. A real bar was adjacent to the den. The family called it Kelly Tavern. Above the bar hung an oar, probably Mr. Kelly's former possession, and his skull's point was also displayed there. The bar shrill has its original structure, a reference to John B. Kelly's prowess in the sport. The estate had numerous nooks and crannies, which was comforting for little Grace. Sometimes, the quiet girl needed a break from the boisterous family members. However, Grace remained there for hours. She enjoyed playing with her dolls and was happy with the peace and quiet. This closet has one more peculiarity. The Kelly family used its door to keep track of the kids' heights. The height chart of the Kelly children and their dog, Wrinkles, has survived throughout all these years, which is a miracle considering its selling story. All marks of the children's heights, starting from two years old to their late teens, are clearly visible. This door has never been painted over, so we can even see the etching of Grace's height when she was two years old in early 1931. Prince Albert, Grace Kelly's son, said in his interview that perhaps previous owners realized the door was part of the family's history. He laughed. Maybe they thought we were going to take it back one day. He did, in the fall of 2016, for $755,000. Now, the Philadelphian estate is in the family's possession again. Prince Albert of Monaco admitted 
the house was very beautiful and very special to our family. However, the estate has switched owners throughout the years. In 1973, the Kellys put the house on sale. A couple purchased the home in 1974, but resold it within days to Margaret Bamont, an avid cat lady. She lived there for more than 40 years, surely, with her cats. The home fell into disrepair and needed a general refurbishment after Margaret's death. The property had been on the market for four months before Prince Albert of Monaco paid $755,000 for it. The prince was happy to save it, saying, We didn't want to see it disappear or see it transformed in any way by future owners. He thought over a renovation program to preserve his childhood memories and honor his iconic mother. Prince Albert was very close to his family, including his cousins and extended family. Prince Albert shared, I remember one visit when Grandma put me up in one of the bedrooms upstairs. I must have been about five, and it was one of the first times I remember when I wasn't put in with my sister. I remember just staring out of the window, watching the cars go by, enjoying being alone. After moving to Monaco, Princess Grace made it a point to return to Philadelphia and show her children where she grew up. Prince Albert also saw family movies of Grace as a kid and imagined her running around the renovated house. Though the restoration process was painstaking, it eventually appeared successful in 2018. The colonial-style house, again, resembled his 1930s version. Albert and his family looked through old photos of the estate to ensure its similarity to the original, including the princess's childhood bedroom with the original twin bed. Grace slept in as a child. The home finally witnessed its former glory. The interior design recalled the decor when the Kelly family resided there. To furnish it, Prince Albert dug out family heirlooms and items of a similar style. The kitchen and bathroom tiles, windows, and exterior shutters were restored according to the original. Imagine the amount of work done. Around the house, you can find several portraits of Grace Kelly, which obviously weren't there when the girl was little. But Prince Albert decided to let the flow of time inside to honor his mother's memory. Okay, now the house looks like a time machine. Turn the indicator to the 1930s. What's next? Will it be a museum? Princess Grace's fans might rub their hands in anticipation, but no, Prince Albert II said that the home would be a place for different public events. It won't be exclusively a museum. The estate will be used by Prince Albert's family anytime they visit the USA by the Princess Grace Foundation USA and the Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation. The Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation supports environmental issues, and the Princess Grace Foundation USA provides scholarships and career assistance to emerging talent in theater, dance, and film. The princess was passionate about these three areas of art. We can only suggest why Prince Albert decided not to turn the renovated home into a museum. Princess Grace always cared for her children's privacy, which clearly impacted the kids and instilled in them the value of privacy. However, after completing the renovations in 2018, Prince Albert II conducted an exclusive tour of the house for the Today Show. This piece included a 3D tour of the upstairs of the house, including his mother's childhood bedroom. What do you think about Prince Albert's efforts to preserve Princess Grace's spirit and passions in her childhood home? Would you like to live in such a family home, or would you prefer a residence that reflects your own tastes and preferences? Please share your thoughts with us.